And like everything else we've been tackling out here this past month, I've never done this before. So we're gonna figure it out together and hopefully make this wall look a lot better than it currently does. Good morning and welcome back to the shop. That's right, we are back in the shop. We're done with the honey do list screened in porch uh, build. If you haven't seen that video, click this button up here. It's not shop stuff, but it's still building stuff, so I found it interesting enough to film. Hopefully you find it interesting enough to watch. What's on the agenda for today's task? You might be wondering, and I'm about to show you. It's uh, another shop project, not car stuff. We're still doing construction stuff because we've been fixing this area over here for the past few weeks, and we're still not done, so... We've got some new things that we've got to get squared away before we move forward with this whole area and I've got some great ideas and I wanted to share them with you. So hopefully you enjoy watching me figure this stuff out as much as I enjoy figuring this stuff out. When we removed the messed up footer wall previously, we did damage the face of some of the bricks. It's more cosmetic than it is structural, but I want to add some of that structural rigidity back into that cinder block wall on the original portion of the front shop. That would be the back wall. And now it's an interior wall in the addition that was built on many moons ago. So I want to get this squared away to where it's a little bit more structurally sound than it is right now. We have some bigger plans for this area in the future, and I don't want to move forward with that until we get this taken care of. So that's exactly what we're going to tackle on today's to-do list. And just in case you're wondering, Rapid Set Mortar Mix is a quick setting mortar cement. I've never used it before, so this will be interesting to see how quick it actually sets. And I'm willing to bet it's going to set a lot quicker than I expect it to. They say a working time of 15 minutes, and I have found through previous experiences that the times are overestimated. So I'm expecting it to set quicker than 15 minutes. So that means we're going to be making a whole bunch of small batches, whereas we could make about a quarter to a third a bag of mortar mix at a time because that's how slow I was setting the brick in a previous episode. And even that set up in about an hour, hour and a half. And they claim that working time is about the same on that. But 15 to 15 minutes of working time on this rapid set mortar mix is not a whole lot of time. So we're going to try to mix up really small batches and try to see how quick we can get it on the wall before it starts to set up on us. To help with not drying out too quickly, we need to wet the wall and all we're gonna do is kick on our little hose sprayer, spray a little mist on the wall so that way the dry block doesn't suck the moisture out of the Rapid Set Mortar Mix as soon as we put it on the wall. That will cause it to dry even quicker and it will shorten the time frame for that workability estimate. So we're gonna experiment a little bit with it. We're gonna dampen down the wall. We're gonna mix up a small batch and then we're gonna see basically how quick it starts setting up on us and then we'll kind of gauge the batch sizes from there. So let's go ahead and get busy. It's actually not that bad. The stuff doesn't dry as quick as I thought it would. So the workability uh, time frame is pretty good. I'm not actually gonna time it. I'm just gonna stick it in the bucket, the technique that we're using. Many of you are probably wondering why I'm rubbing it in with my hands because I don't wanna build too much thickness. And because we still have um, some leftover concrete that's kind of coming off the wall, as well as the voids beneath the surface that we need to fill in, the best way that I've come up with for me to fill those in, being as rough as it is, is to just kind of pack it in with the hand and, and rub it in. Uh, we're gonna do the first coat that way. The second and subsequent coats will probably be troweled on and try to get as smooth a finish as we can. I do want to have a nice uniform, even build. That way, if somebody ever comes in the future and rips everything that I've done down, 
they don't have any crazy weird surprises like I did. We're gonna go ahead and keep mixing this stuff up. We're pretty much using the same ratio as we did with the mortar mix. We're leaving it um, slightly more wet than is probably uh, required. We're using four cups, 32 ounce cups to one cup of water. We're doing uh, eight cups at a time to two cups of water. We're mixing that in with a power mixer because I'm tired of, after all these projects with mortar mix, I'm tired of doing it in the tub with the uh, garden hoe. So we're mixing everything up, we're rinsing all the tools off before we get started, and then I'm just scooping it out with my hand using a proper nitrile glove. And actually went and got some thicker gloves because the seven mil uh, hardy gloves that you get from Harbor Freight are not thick enough and they rip on the stone. So uh, you wanna protect your, your digits uh, just from the, it's got like lime and stuff in it, so they'll dry your hands out and crack, and uh, that's not something you want in your skin. So protect yourself. We're gonna go ahead and mix up another batch and get back on it. All right guys, the first coat is on and it was just hand rubbed in. I applied it with the hand and just scooping it out of the bucket and then rubbed it in all of the uh, voids or crevices or where we had chipped out the concrete block with the jackhammer and went below the surface. We still have a little bit of aggregate and uh, concrete still adhering to the above the surface of the concrete block that was making it difficult to apply with the trowel. So. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna mix up half batches. So we did the, the hand application with eight 32 ounce scoops of rapid set mortar mix with two 32 ounce uh, cups of water. Mixed all that together and then applied it by hand. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna mix up half batches. So four cups of rapid set mortar mix with one 32 ounce cup of water. And then we're going to apply it with the trowel we're going to mag float it maybe. Uh, I'm going to see how that works. I'm going to try to mag float it first, go rinse off all the tools and bucket, and then come back and immediately trowel it and see how smooth we can get it. I don't really care about the waviness. Um, I know I should be trying to get it laser straight, but that's, that's just going to take uh, way more mortar mix than I have money for. So if you're wondering why I don't have enough rapid set mortar mix, um, maybe because you haven't hit the like button. Maybe because you haven't subscribed. Maybe because you haven't left comments down below. hit that subscribe button. As always, we appreciate it very much and thank you so very much for watching this video.